No, something. Okay. Good evening, children. Today, let us try to understand what are called three positions. <coughs> Prepositions. Say that. Prepositions. And it's two words. Preposition. Pre and the Mundala position and the Stana. So it places itself before a noun. Now let us understand what the prepositions are. First, in, on, in, on. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Gandhi ji was born on. 2nd October on Wednesday on Saint Matron's Day. Gandhiji was born on 2nd October on Wednesday on St. Matron's Day. Keep it here. Okay. Now, first of all, tell me. Second, what is second? Second and the Gandhi. Gandhi. Day. <coughs> Second means day. Wednesday. Day. Day. Saint Matron's Day. Special day. Okay. So on D D D S. That means on is used before day. Day. And special days. Day, day, and special days. So please remember on means D D S. Day, day, and special day. Next, let us look at in Gandhi ji died in January in nineteen forty eight in winter. Gandhi ji died in January in 1948 in winter. Now let us analyze where we have used in. Now children, January means what? January. What is January? First. Month. Month. 1948? Day. Year. Year. Winter season. Okay. So in this use before M Y S. What is M Y S? Month, year, season. Month, year, and season. Month. Year and season. So let's get back once again. The prepositions in and on. The first use is on is used before D D D S. Day day special days. In is used before M 
Y S. That is month, year, and season. That means in winter, in summer, in autumn. What are give example for some special days? Gandhi Jayanti, Krishna Jayanti, hmm? Republic Day, Independence Day. They are all special days. Yes, Christmas, very good. These are all special days. Yeah, sure. I mean. What I suggest is, you are listen. Sir. Afterwards, I will write it to you. Later, because being an online class, I don't want to waste time. Okay? So now, you can write it later. I will explain you once again. Now, the next preposition, let us take five prepositions. Listen carefully. Number three, once again, in, into, on, upon and over so in and on has got different uses as preposition now observe this the cat sat on a chair what meaning are you getting for all the cat sat on a chair. On a game meaning of chindi. Now, the piece of chalk is on my hand. Touch. Touch in the cat. Now we are sitting on the floor. Why? There is touch. So on is used for touch. Next, upon. The tiger pounced up on the deal. Now, this is the deal. The tiger, it pounced up on. First action, Amy, up. Then, touch on the deal. So here, this is in motion. I take movement. Actions are in the zarvitu undi. The tiger pounced upon the deer. Now let us take one more use of in. I am in the kitchen. For in, I am in the kitchen. In local covered area. Covered area, okay? So in is used for covered area. Now observe the next sentence. The cat ran into the room room covered area in ran into to direction house yeah into the room so here again there is motion okay now in this section let us take up the last one over the plane flew over the building. The plane flew over the building. Now this is the building. Observe carefully. 
the plane flew over the building ये मीनिंग उच्चन दी बिल्डिंग the plane flew over the building no touch on touch this no touch so no touch will not be used over no touch okay so once again sure on the cat sat on a chair touch the tiger pounced upon the deer up and then touch upon motion movement i am in the kitchen covered area the cat ran into the room motion action is going on the plane flew over the building no touch clear yes sir i can on touch upon motion in covered area into motion over no touch <coughs> okay now sir let's move on to number 4 Please observe the sentences carefully and try to get the meaning. Please observe carefully. Now, okay, in on over it now. From two. From two. We went. From Guntur to Vaisak by train. Next, our office works from.
Okay, now Godavari Nadi is very long river. So this side and this side it is not very long. Straight it is very long. Sideways width is not much. So E end and I end are the bridge. So we there are four bridges across the Godavari. That means from one end to the other end. From one end to the other end. That is the exact way for the preposition across from one end to the other end. Okay? There are four bridges, day side bridges across the Godavari. We went across the river by boat from one end to the other end, across. From starting point to ending point. Across from one end to the other end. Okay. Now let me take one more preposition. After that, I explain to you again so that you can remember it well with a circle diagram. Next, please observe carefully. Up, I'm sorry. Along. Next preposition is along. Now, I walked. I walked along the canal. Please pronounce this word. Not walked. W A L W A L K L is silent. Walk. So when third letter the consonant is silent, E D gets T sound. This correct pronunciation is walked. Past tense word not walked. Walked is the correct pronunciation. Next, I ran. Along the beach. Now, children, you need to understand very clearly. Just observe my movements. Now, this is the canal. I am away from the canal. This is the canal. I walked along the canal. Now, next. This is the beach. The beach is from here. Beach is side owner. Beach is from here. I ran along the beach. Until Pakkana. By the side of. Along. By the side of. No problem. Leave. Okay. Now. Let us. Try to understand these prepositions better through a circle diagram. Okay, now you have to help me. In the work of what you listen, you have to help me. Okay. Now, in covered area, in the cat ran into the room, into it. By tenancy, local. Into. On. Touch. Anywhere. On. Next. Up. On. Up and then touch. Up. On. Upon. Over. No touch. Over. Along. Pakkana, by the side. Along. From to. Starting point. Ending point.
across from one end to the other end. Across. Okay. Once again, a quick revision. In covered area. Into from outside to inside. On touch. Upon up and then touch. Over no touch. Across one end to the other end. Along by the side of. From starting point to ending point. Okay. So these are a few basic prepositions. Please don't disturb. Okay. Right. <coughs> now I will just take two more prepositions for today for this class. Okay. Now next one. Number seven. <clears throat> okay, let me give you some interesting prepositions. Between, among. Observe the sentence carefully. Raju and Rani. Shared the biscuits. Shared the biscuits. Between themselves. Now, what is this word? Biscuits. Not biscuits. Bis you is silent. The correct pronunciation is biscuit, not biscuit, biscuit, give me a packet of biscuits, okay. Now, Raju Rani, how many people? Two. Two. So, whenever we are talking about a comparison or sharing between two persons, two times or two places, we use between. Two. Now, see the next sentence. The four thieves shared the booty. Booty means Dongataram Chesira Vastulu among themselves. Among Chindi. Okay? Among means more than two. More than two. Okay? So between comparison, two places, two times, or two people, among more than two. Now please tell me. How will you answer this? Between Ustunda and Ustunda, you have to give me the answer. The friends, the friends shared the chocolates. Considered more than two, we use among. Okay, make it very clear. When it is in plural, then we have to use among. Okay, now let's take one last proposition for today. Bow. 
Why? Okay. Now, I go to school by bus. By bus. By car. By train. By bike. Now what is bus? What is car? What is train? What is bike? All are vehicles. General vehicles. Now, I go to school on foot. Foot and me, not school well let down. On any question, the touch on the other ground. So it is on foot. Okay, right. So this is the class for today. And I'll definitely revise this again and go in for more prepositions in the next class. Thank you, children.